Hello everybody and welcome back to Cities Skylines in the city of Knight's Gauntlet. It's your mayor, Kuros Paladin. So, we're still working on making the region a fun and productive place to live. We're up to 96,000 sims, 96,328. How about I make note of that on my handy dandy little notepad right here in front of me. 96 and of course it's changed already but 328 is what I said and we'll see where we're at at the end of the episode uh, we're in creative mode so of course there's no need to worry about cash or anything else um, so all we really need to worry about is just making certain the city doesn't burn down <laughs> uh, so and we I, I, you know I've done a pretty good job of that so far <laughs> so um, the only thing that I find somewhat frustrating is some of the train traffic between Chicago and Detroit. There just seems to be a lot of it, uh, the freight traffic, but of course right now it seems to have died down, but then it just seems to come back. There's just a lot of trains that want to get into Detroit. Um, so I, I think uh, if I had to rebuild a new port or a new uh, freight station in Detroit, Detroit. <laughs> I would end up having to destroy a good portion of the city so instead I think I'll just have to live with the blocked up train traffic maybe 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 if I can figure out how to do it get a rail station in here and then somehow figure out how to connect it to this mess up here. But that may just cause more problems. I don't really know. Um, it's it, it really is a pain in the butt sometimes to get rail traffic to work uh, well. So, especially freight traffic. Anyhow, so uh, we have some residential demand. We still have a huge industrial and uh, office demand. Um, so... What the heck, if we've got that residential demand, let's go ahead and see if we can quelch or quench some of it. I don't know where the word quelch came from. Uh, it's makeup order today, apparently. Um, so, where would I want to put some more residential? Um, well, oh, one thing that I did know is uh, this, the uh, Notre Dame thing. So, I guess the person that made it never intended to actually put an uh, actual mod or an actual uh, Notre Dame asset out. So unfortunately it's just gone. But that will help with some of the traffic that's been over here. I mean there's nobody coming to visit this area anymore. <laughs> so uh, I guess what I could do is we could return this to what it was originally, which I believe was just some light residential. So just go ahead and do that. Okay. So, um, also what I would like to do, uh, I would at some point like to get some um, metro subways going on here. And I know I mentioned that maybe last episode. So where would I want to do that? I mean... I could imagine having one coming from up here in Port Huron all the way down through Detroit, uh, and then maybe one coming from Pinckney over this way, uh, and I would probably just follow Jefferson Avenue here. Um, does it keep that name all the way up? Yes, it does. That is good to see. I don't know if I'll go all the way up into the thumb, but definitely up here to, say, like right about here. So let's go ahead and do that. now. But I'm hoping, the last time I did this, uh, I had some issues with the stations. But, yeah, I'm, I, I just like a... Per oh, okay, I can get it here. Excellent. So let's go ahead. Boom. We'll put one there. Excellent. Okay, so our very first subway station is built in Port Huron. Then we will come down this way. Um, could I sneak one in? I probably could sneak one in between the Penobscot building and this. Is this a library? Yeah, I probably could sneak one in using Anarchy. 
um, but I still get slope too steep. These are getting really picky. Um, actually, why is that library so low? Holy cow! Let's raise it up just a little bit. Um, so use move it, select it, and then we'll make it this height of this intersection right here. And then the train sort of will follow. Let's take a look here. And now it's really high up there. Let's take it down a little bit. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Okay. Now let's see if I can get slope too steep. Yeah, this is a, uh, a little bit annoying that I will never be able to seem to get um, subway stations due to the fact that something has made these uh, just... I don't know. With the recent sunset um, harbor content, subway stations have become very, very picky in how you can place them. Let's see if I can lower this a little bit more. And hopefully, I don't know if that's what the problem is, but if I bring the Penobscot building up just a little bit. Okay. Um, okay, let's see. Nope, slope too steep. Um, okay. One last thing I'm going to try. Let's see what happens if I just try to level out the land. I doubt that'll do it, but... Nope, slope too steep. Okay. Um, let's try this. Put that there. And then use move it. And I think that's the only way I can do it now. Is using move it from now on. Okay. I have to cheat. Which, you know, I've been doing anyhow for a while, so... Let's go ahead, we're going to put in a subway stop right here next to the Rensen. Oh, well, the Rensen has a subway stop. Excellent. And then finally we'll bring all the way down to here. Where can I connect, though? Um, I could probably sneak it in. Oh, look at that. I do have... Okay, right there. Excellent. So now let's go ahead, and we need to be underground. There we go. Connect. So we're going to connect up to the Rensen. We're going to connect from here to this one. And look at that. I'm getting this turn. Now it wants to... Ugh. I don't like what they've done with uh, subway stations. I really don't. Um, so now I can't, I can't connect to it. Or I can, but it's going to want to be on the surface for a period of, or uh, for a, some of the distance. You can see right uh, here, it wants to be on the surface, which just makes no sense. Can I force it to be a tunnel? Yes. Okay. I can force it to be a tunnel, so we'll just do that while we're building this. There we go, okay. Let's make certain I put that back. There we go, okay. And our very first subway line is between the Rouge Complex and Port Huron. Via the Rensen, right to there, up to Port Huron, and back down to uh, near the train station, and then over to there. Excellent. Our very first subway line. Next, I'd like to have one that kind of goes this way. I kind of want the Rensen to be, a, um, basically, I'd like it to be a, a hub, if possible. Um, but it is going to conflict with, oh, excuse me, just a moment, folks. Okay, I hope you didn't hear all that. Um, I just had to take care of an uncomfortable... Um, some um, un uncomfort <laughs> discomfort that's the word I'm looking for I had to take care of some discomfort with my ear anyhow uh, can I f sneak this in that will look a little bit weird with the okay there we go that might look a little bit weird with the um, arch or the support from 
the train station the train track above it although that's not too bad so that will work okay so we're gonna go from there we're going to hit uh, we're gonna go through Pickney or Orchard Lake let's go up here we're gonna hit um, we have the train tunnel under here, which will get in the way, unfortunately. Um, what do I have on that side of the road? Nothing. Nothing at all. Okay. How about right here? Okay. And then we'll come over. We'll come through Pickney. I find that really funny because Pickney, real life, opus get rid of anarchy I forgot I had that enabled um, space already occupied what is here the elementary school okay um, I find it funny because real life Pickney would <laughs> just it would not warrant a subway stop but alas uh, right Yep, we're going to go right there. Okay. And then over here in Ann Arbor. Let's go ahead. We'll give them a subway stop. How uh, about right here? Alongside, right next to the sub, uh, subway. Right next to this uh, bus stop. But we have slope too steep again. Um, I can put it there. But I would really prefer it be here. So what we're going to do... Um, we're going to destroy a house or two. Sorry. Boom. And then we're going to cheat. And we're just going to move it. Um, oh, before I do that, let's do this. Delete that. Okay. And then we'll move it to be right there. Thank goodness for move it. Okay. And then we're going to make it, uh, we'll come all the way up to Pim Primrose Park. We will have a stop here in Lansing, of course. We'll have a stop in Lansing. Um, where in Lansing would this be? Uh, is there a... Let's go ahead and put another gate right there and connect this. There we go. And then we will have a subway stop right next to that. There. And then last but not least, somewhere in Pick, uh, Primrose Park, just to allow uh, people to get out here to work easily. Um, where can I put it? I should probably put some buses out here too. If I'm going to put buses out here... Um, I can put it right here. There. Okay. Let's go ahead and connect it up now. So, we're going to go from there. Just make a straight shot. I don't really care about the curves. The train will be able to handle that with no problem. This, I probably would like to have a slightly nice, gentle curve of some sort. So let's just do, like, right about there. And then, using road guidelines, right up to there. Super. And then, we're going to need a straight shot from here. Okay, we're going to force it to be a tunnel. Um, let's get, there we go. To about there. And then guideline right into that. Excellent. Okay, I have to remember I do have force it to be tunnel enabled. Let's just connect right up to that one in Orchard Lake. From Orchard Lake, we do need to go underneath this bit. There we 
There we go. Actually, what if I just go back to normal mode? Excellent. And then where am I going to? Oh, oh, oh blah, 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 blah. I don't know what. <laughs> My tongue just is really has a mind of its own tonight, apparently. Oh dear. Oh boy. I don't want to know what that looks like. Oh. Okay. It's just a slight little bump in the road there. Okay. So we're going to have from downtown Detroit through Orchard Lake, through Pickney, through Ann Arbor, through Lansing, and th all the way to Primrose Park or back through Lansing, back through... Ann Arbor, back through Pickney, back through Orchard Lake, and to Detroit. Super. Maybe that will even help alleviate some of the commuter traffic. Alright, I find it funny that I put subways out there first before, uh, before Chicago. What I would like to do in Chicago, I don't know if I'm going to, but I think it would be neat to have L's out here, because of course, that is what you know, Chicago has is the owl. So. Alright, uh, so we got some subways going there in Detroit. I may extend that one from Rouge. Uh, well, I don't know where I would go. I mean, south of here, well, kind of, this is where Toledo would be, right about here. Um, and then as you go down I-75, uh, Bowling Green, and lots and lots of soybean fields after that, I guess. Um, Fort Wayne is a little remote. It does have a train station, though, and it is not only an exchange from the outside world, um, but it is also gets it also has a lot of passenger traffic using it. It looks like in that passenger traffic, I think it only goes between. Um, Fort Wayne and Chicago. Let's see, I have two lines. The blue and the purple line. The blue line goes over to Chicago, and the purple line looks like it goes over to Detroit. Okay. Um, I could put two more lines over here. I'm only... I have two more platforms. Um, where would I go, though? I mean... I really don't know. I have some commercial demand coming back, which is good. So, what does my unemployment numbers look like? 6%, so I really should try and grow some more folks. We got 97,000, uh, so we've gone up about 1,430 there. Not bad. Uh, so where could I... I was going to put some more residential... Huh. Actually, that's... That, you know what might be nice... Um, London isn't really near the Lake Erie. It's more, well, pretty much like right about here. But we're already cheating when it comes to uh, cities. What I will do is I will build another neighborhood over here in Ontario. Uh, we'll give another interchange on the 402. Uh, no, this would be the 401. This would be the 402 if it was a highway up here. So, okay. So, uh, I'm going to put that highway interchange... Uh, I regret never planning these things out, but... If I planned everything out, I'd never get anything done. Um, we're going to put it right about here. So... So let's go ahead, we're going to come over to, I don't know, about there. Here, we're going to go over to about there. Come down. There we go. So this is going to be our main road coming off of that. And what I'll probably do is probably eventually connect up to that. So 
But for right now, what I would like to do is I'd like to come in this way a little bit. So let's go ahead. We're going to give it a little bit of a... Um, there we go. I know that doesn't make much sense, but... I talk about the music in this game a lot, and this is one piece that, that I really like from cities, uh, city, Sim City societies. Uh, I want to get up and over this rail, so. There we go. I don't know. Uh, I probably have to go up a little bit higher. Nope, that'll be good. Uh, we're going to force it to be straight, though. And then this is going to be a bit of a weird... Um, interchange, I guess. Yeah, let's just connect it with the straight shot. There we go, okay. And then what this will do, it'll come off this way. Like that. Okay, so that'll continue on that way. Alright, let's connect this up. So this is always so much fun. I know everybody loves watching me do this. I hope if you ever do play the game that it's like an uh, informative. They just say, hey, yeah, this is how you can build a, a freeway interchange really easily. Especially if you just don't worry about the directions off the bat. Um, you just do this and then reverse later on. And then I do want to change that to a one-way two lane. There we go. But that can be all a one-way uh, highway. Come back over to this side. This will be a one-way highway. <laughs> there we go. And then out this way. And then I'll... That'll work right there. And then reverse that. And change it to that. Okay. Super. And then we're going to do our normal um, our normal thing here. There we go. Okay. And fun with lane arrows. Just to make certain everybody plays nice over here. Click. Click. And click. I really wish they had left the Shift S thing in there. Oh, right to another piece of music that I really like. But not from SimCity Societies. Okay, almost there, folks. Almost there. Just three more nodes to do. One. Come on. One. Yeah, the, the Shift S thing is it's not working anymore. Oh, well. Or they changed the key, maybe. Okay. There, we've taken care of that. Excellent. All right, so now that I've done all that, we've got our major roads laid out. What I would like to do with this major road right here is we're going to downgrade it to an avenue and have it come through Q. 
here. Um, so I'm going to have a commercial center to the right of this. And then we'll come out like so. And then we'll just reconnect like that. Okay. And then on this side, we'll just kind of do a kind of a similar thing, I guess. And it will connect up to right there. Okay, that'll work. I don't know. I just, I'm making very abstract roads. Uh, not really planning these things out. Okay, I know I talked about this before. I am going to try this. So this two-lane plain street. I think I tried this before somewhere. And it worked out fairly well. Oh, that's a grass line. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Da -da 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 -da. Da 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 mm -hmm. Doesn't matter on the bridges though. There we go, okay. That also keeps them from parking there. <laughs> Alright, uh, I was saying, uh, I want to try these plain roads. So let's do that off of here. I'm sorry, I wanted it off of this road. Of course, I don't want people using these roads to cut through. So I'm kind of hoping That. That's a little bit further away than I wanted it to be. Okay. Do I want to put more here? Or, yeah, we're going to put... Or I could turn this into a park. Nah. Let's get peeps in the city, I suppose. There we go, okay. Gonna need education. Some police, some fire, and a medical clinic all in the middle. And then, of course, let's give them a park. And we'll put that right. Mm, we'll put it right there. Okay. And then okay, that didn't go the angle I wanted it to. <laughs> Ah, uh, never mind. All right, sorry, I'm concentrating a little bit too much on stupid things. But I do that a lot, don't I? Okay. Um, do I need anything else in here? Not at the moment. Let's go ahead. I'm going to put some more of the little plain roads in on this side. Let's unpause the game.
Uh, I could just have this kind of end right here. And then, I don't know, just connect it like right there. As well, and then over here we could have... A road. That kind of ends right there like that, okay. Viking Gods. That's the only words that I can make out of this. I have no idea what the other part is. And I don't play, uh, uh, whatever the game is that this comes from. It's another, um, another paradox. Okay. Is it Paradox or... Yeah, Paradox. Anyhow. Um, do I need a school out there? I probably do. Fine, let's give them another school. And then I know I just did this, but before they build, let's just connect to that. There we go. Okay. And then that, I know it's not uh, entirely accurate, but it's the only city I know of in that area. Um... Do, 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 do. So this part, go right up to that road, and the railroad, and we'll also cover all of this right here. Um, fine. I wasn't going to cover all of this, but now I am. It's going to be huge. <laughs> there. Okay. Fill out that little bit. There we go. Take it off. Clear up our edges. Nice, clean district edges. Joop. And joop. Excellent. Get into that just a little bit there. Joop. Take off the road. And then off the railroad for what I can. Oh wow, my uh, bypass is even getting a little bit uh, backed up now. Okay, anyhow. This will be called Chatham. I think that's how it's spelled. There might be another H in there. It might be Chatham, but I'll find that out later. Okay. So yeah, all right. Well, of course, while I was doing that, my residential demand went down a little bit, and then my commercial demand popped back up. That's my unemployment number is like still 6%. And then, let's look at this one more time. Okay, so I have this problem going on in my other game right now, where uh, a good chunk of the city is uh, seniors, and I'm going to be running into that possibly very soon in this one. But, I think that's a good spot to end, because I want to keep this episode short. I don't, I, I've been getting them up to an hour, and I want to keep them a little bit shorter. So, all I want to do, is all I'm going to do before I'm done, I want to check how well the subways are used 249 so that doesn't tell me 
how many people are using that stop, unfortunately. Uh, 18. So now a lot of people wanting to go up towards the thumb, apparently. Uh, da, 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 da. Where is that other subway stop? Right there. 226! Yikes! Okay, a lot of people going there. Alright, and then how are we doing going out this way? So I already looked at it and I already forgot. Um, 226. And then, because I don't remember where it all went, right over here. 77. Then we went into Ann Arbor somewhere. No, we went into Pickney. 22. Then we went into Ann Arbor. 132. Lansing. 301. Wow. And then all the way out to here. 17. Well, I'll bet you if I got a bus out here, they might want to use it because then they could move around here a little bit better. So out here in good old um, they're going to have to hoof it just a little bit. So we'll get them bust around a little bit. There, and then let's go the opposite way. And right there. And then reconnect. Okay. So that might encourage a little bit of use to come out this way. Um, they'll have to hoof it way over here if they need to, but anyhow. So that's where I'm going to end this, folks. I hope you have enjoyed the episode. And I hope you come back to watch future episodes of City Skylines Night's Gauntlet, based in the Great Lakes region of uh, the United States of America. Michigan, Ohio, Ontario, Indiana, Illinois, Wisconsin, um, and maybe a little bit of Pennsylvania in there as well, and Minnesota. So everybody... Take care, and I will see all of you in the next episode of City Skylines. I mean, <coughs> oh, not a good outro. <laughs> Let me try that again. Next episode of City Skylines, Night's Gauntlet. Take care, and bye.